Hi everyone, it's Tina from My Mad Ideas. I want to start by saying a big thank you for all the kind comments on my last video. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add text to your 3D inflated graphics. So in particular, I wanna keep this quite brief and then I'm planning to do another video where I go from the very start to the end of creating a 3D inflated Tumblr app. But for today, let's focus on the text. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you get anything interesting out of this video and without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, let's open a new file in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, let's go on file, new and set up our sizes. Let's keep it small. I'm going to go pixel. I'm going to do 500 by 500 to make our life easier in terms of rendering. And like last time, I'm going to save it as a vector. So there's not going to be any problem in making the graphics bigger later on, RGB color and high 300 ppi as usual and click on create. Perfect, now that we have our ad board, let's go ahead and create some text. So you should have your type tool here, click on it, then click on the ad board and I don't know, let's uh, use the word summer. Let's select the text and then by holding the shift Key, you can drag across the mouse. Let's change the font. I found this font that I really like. It's called Costa Black. So I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to import a color palette for this. And I have a create already. I use these graphics and create this color palette. If you want me to create a video about how I did this, let me know in the comments below. So I'm just going to quickly copy and paste it in. Here we go. Okay, now let's click on the word summer go on type and select create outline then we go on object and then go on path and offset path i set mine to four pixel round and i left the matter limit four it's up to you if you want to pick up outline just increase the number of pixel here but i'm gonna leave it like this for now and click on ok as you can see we already like generated the outline so the next thing that we need to do is to see it better, I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool and choose my color from here. You can alternatively use a, a, any color from up here. And if you don't see this, by the way, just go on window and click on color. So going back, I've chosen this color. You can already see it better, which is way easier. And then the next thing that we need to do is to go on the pathfinder option here. And once again, if you don't have it here, you can just go on window Pathfinder and we click on Unite. As you can see now the red is covering most of the black areas so we want to push it at the back by right clicking on it and select Arrange and Send to Back. As you can see the red areas now are behind the black areas and we can go ahead and make more outlines so let's just go on Object, Path and Offset Path for round OK. And then I'm going to choose the second color with the eyedropper tool. And as you can see, this one is already at the back, which is great. So we don't need to do the path down the unite and send it at the back. It's already there. And now we can go ahead and make as many outline as we want. So let's, let's go on object, path, and offset path. OK. Eyedropper tool and yellow. And again, object, path, Offset path, okay, I drop it to darker yellow. And again, object, path, offset path, okay, orange, object, path, offset path, okay, and our green. Awesome. Okay, I decided that the word summer doesn't really look good in black, in my opinion, so I'm gonna quickly change it. And if you wanna do this, you just go on the direct selection tool and click on each letter by pressing also the shift key on your keyboard. You select them all. As you can see, there is a color black here and we want to change it thinking about, oh yeah, maybe an aqua. Okay, I like this. Awesome. Very summary. Okay, let's go ahead and make it inflated, should we? Now that we have our wording and our effect, so let's go ahead and create a little rectangle shape. Just click on the rectangle tool or you can right click on it and choose a different shape. For example, the rounded rectangle tool, which I'm choosing now. And let's drag our mouse across the artboard to create 
the shape. Let's click on the word summer and drag it across. As you can see, it goes at the back. So just click on the rectangular shape, right click, arrange and send to back. And then we can select them both by dragging our mouse across and we can go up here to align it. If you don't see it up here, it should also be on a line here on the right. And if you don't see this, I'll just go on window and click on align. So let's select them both and do the center alignment, both vertical and horizontal. And when we are happy, let's right click on it and click on group. Okay, let's go ahead and select it again and then go on effect, 3D materials and inflate. Give it a second and you can already see that it changed it to the inflated effect. So the next step is go on materials. I'm gonna leave my materials to the default and then I'm gonna go down here and change the roughness and the metallic effect. So I'm gonna put my roughness to 0 0.02 and the metallic to 0 0.4 and I'm just gonna let it do its thing for a second. And you can see that it already changed a little bit. And here it is, much shinier. And then we can go on lighting. Um, I like the top left option and I'm gonna increase the height to 65. And here it is, your inflated effect is already coming to life. One thing to notice, as you can see, because I chose only four pixels, these outlines are very close together. So one thing that you can do is do the same process by using a thicker outline. I'm gonna quickly do it for you and show you the result without boring you through the process. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, here we are back. And as you can see with the thicker line, you get a different effect. It's obviously up to you what you wanna do. And yes, here it is, your 3D inflated effect on text. It really makes any graphic cool, in my opinion. And don't forget, you can always change material. You can always change the properties of the materials as well. So you can go, for example, you can go higher with the metallic effect and you get this more, really more metallic look. And in that case, you might want to increase the lighting a little bit. If we go back on material and properties again, we can change it and make it, I don't know, halfway, both the roughness and the metallic effect. And you get this more, I call it powder coated almost effect. I'm sorry guys, I don't really know the terms you would use for this kind of effects, but yeah, that's how I call it. And I really like this as well. It's um, different, it almost makes it look like clay. Maybe? What do you think it looks like? Just let me know in the comments, I'm curious. Anyway, let's now finish off. So select everything and go on render, on the render setting here, click on the drop down menu and choose ray tracing. I put mine on medium. If you're working from a computer rather than a laptop, you might be able to process it with high, but I'm not able to do this on my laptop. So choose medium, uh, reduce noise and render. And here it is. So you can see there is a bit of um, shading around. So it's up to you, if you wanna modify, just click on it and go back to 3D materials. And you can choose a different setting with the lighting. For example, you change the intensity of the lighting here and you go up to about 90. You will see that that shading goes away a little bit. I like it better this way, to be honest. I'll leave it like this, but it's still up to you. Play around with the setting. You know, we are using the default material, but there is so many to choose from. And there is also some library with free materials you can go and, you know, have a look at as well. Awesome, I hope you enjoyed this guys. I'm gonna be filming another video very soon about creating a Canva wrap. And that's gonna be from the beginning to the very end product. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. Leave a comment below if you can. Um, always puts a smile on my face when I see your comments. Thank you so much for the past ones and see you next time. Bye.